prayer. But guess what? Every single Republican member of Congress, every single one in this state, every single one voted against the support for law enforcement. They talk about how much they love it. They voted against the funding. Flat out. Flat out. Every Republican in the House, every Republican in the Senate, every single one. The vast majority of Republicans in Congress couldn't even stand up and vote for it because they're afraid of the NRA. And the NRA and the vast majority of congressional Republicans voted against it, saving lives and keeping America safe. And for those brave right-wing Americans who say it's all about keeping America, keeping America's independent and safe, if you want to fight against the country, you need an F-15. You need something a little more than a gun. But in 2004, Republicans let that ban expire. It's time to hold every elected official's feet to the fire and ask them, are you for banning assault weapons, yes or no? Ask them. If the answer is no, vote against them. And for seven years, the other team would not let us appoint anyone to that job. You hear some of my friends in the other team talking about political violence and how it's necessary. Think about this now. To this day, the MAGA Republicans in Congress defend the mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th. What I find even more incredible is the defense of it. Cops attacked and assault, assaulted, speared with flagpole, with flagpoles, sprayed with mace, stomped on, dragged, brutalized. Police lost their lives as a result of that day. Police lost their lives. One of the officers said it was worse than anything he had experienced in war in Iraq. So let me say this to my MAGA Republican friends in Congress. Don't tell me you support law enforcement if you won't condemn what happened on the 6th. Don't tell me. Can't do it. For God's sake, whose side are you on? Whose side are you on?